My mind is fixed on Sussex. Bassam and I have a chance to save Sigurd. But we will need an army. I believe you do. Now is the time to strike. Before Fulke decides Sigurd is of no more use to her. You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Gudrun Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... I'm... sorry. You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Stay around a while and judge for yourself. Oh, I will. Have no fear of that. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a crone's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we are able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I'll not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfeeder. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Sigurd's last. You had better be all they promised. The scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. A leader should not second-guess themselves. Nobody respects a tremble heart. I have known plenty as brash as you. Not many are left in this world. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Folk has news of Croindonen's fall. She's gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. You still say I am reckless in my haste, Guthrum. Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. <laughs> You dogs! Back to Porchester! They flee like rabbits! Then we chase them like hounds! That ugly bastard's head is mine! Not if I get there first, slow arse! Leave him! The day is already won! <laughs> Bear your false deities like a plague to this land. But you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate. I decide your fate today, Saxon. I am ready for my final journey.
Let me see what lies beyond. When you see your guard, tell him I sent you. Reckless stripling! I warned you the risk was too great! Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? In spite of our losses, we claim victory here. Arguing over blame will not bring the dead back. If this is what a Raven Clan victory looks like, I cannot wait to see what happens when you lose. What happened here? Uba, Soma, you come at a black hour. And too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one. But Folk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But no, you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, raven feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor? I am no errant child to be talked down to by my elders. No. You are supposed to be a leader. So listen now. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift, gather your allies, pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. I heard and heeded. I am not too proud to admit my mistake. Then there is wisdom in you as well. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated, but we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. Erke, Stove, Juvena, ride there ahead of me. Together, we will bring them down. It brings me no pleasure to fight my own people, but a debt is a debt. Besides, they're men of Vesex, Alfred's folk. No brothers of yours. We will set off immediately. Together we will fall upon them as Thor's hammer. After that, we should strike at Fulke's supplies all across Sussex. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth, Gilderford, and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley. Food in Gilderford. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uber, I need your axe arm at Gildefort. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I'll join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. How does it look? Crawling with Saxon soldiers like lice on a swine. The very sight sours my blood. Would the sight of their bodies in the mud please you better? One way to find out. Eivor, I beg you. Alfred's men are not, they are Saxons and Christians. If I could speak to them, we might avoid bloodshed. And lose the element of surprise? These people make their living by the blade. We should attack headlong. No sense raising the alarm. I'll take care of them quietly. Be ready to come to my aid. We have your back, Eivor. All is ready? 
We're a town of farmers and shepherds. This place bristles with swords. One of them is a thane by his dress. Serious men with him, too. Went into the longhouse. If we take care, we might avoid drawing the thane's attention while we burn the grain silos. <laughs> Was that a jest? Bring them on! Been too long since I met a Saxon warrior worth half a shit. Soma, what is happening here? Bandits, taking advantage of the disorder in Suffolk to fill their pockets. Odin smiles on us today. Let us make sure this place is burned to the ground. Fulke will get no more weapons from here. We could charge in while they are distracted, but it would be safer to use fire arrows. We burn them from afar. Watch them scatter like cats. A sound decision. I agree. What have you discovered? Bridgeware swarms with guards, reinforced from the river. Word is that two of Fulke's finest oversee such matters. We should kill these leaders and burn their ships. Crippled and put to panic, their men will be in no place to join Fulke at Porchester. Frightened men look to their own interests. A good plan. You are quite the agent of chaos. Fulke's men are chasing their tails, not knowing where you will strike next. Poor Chester has neither the supplies nor the forces to keep us out now. And you have bought time for your allies to arrive. Many have come, not least the bishop here. As I promised. <laughs> As the keeper of God's word, it would be poor form if I did not keep my own. Now, if the talking is done, there's blood to be spilled. Eivor, dark news. We found a letter on one of the dead. Fulke has called for aid. Reinforcements. A Saxon army marches from Winchester. Then my men and I will ride to meet them. We will harry them every step of the way to buy you time. We may begin the assault at once, or you might wish to speak with your allies, if you've not done so already. Warm words do thaw the chill of battle fear. We march. When the sun sets on this day, Sigurd will be returned to us, and Fulke's head will be on a spike. Let us begin. What will the Skulls say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter, that Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blackened the sky to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters, for today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> Coming for you, brother. Eivor! Did you enjoy the gift I left you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke! But your men may live if you come here to me and settle this alone! We have nothing to settle. Die on these walls, if you will. It is your choice. No wall is high enough to keep me from you. Then come. Claim your brother if you can. I shall wait with him. If you would find us, you need only follow his screams. Fulke! Full K. I have done all I could to help him, Ava. The rest is up to you. Stay with him. You deal with Fulke. I'll come back for you. 
I promise. You cower for me, Fulke, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Ava. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. I need nothing from you. Do you not wonder, Ava, at the things I have learned? Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one. An archon. Nephilim. Isu. Call him what you will. He is reborn. He's my brother and my Jarl. And your mind sick. He is everything we should hope to be. Fulke! Damn you to hell! Nobody touch her. She is mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave. that understanding, that gift. You gave him pain! Yes! To awaken him! Thresher through a field of weed, mad one. What has she done to you? Eivor! We delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I will hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. Archers! To the walls! Is that the last of them? We have beaten them back for now, but without Guthrum's army, we do not have the numbers to hold this fort. We found Sigurd. That is what matters.
Guthrum was hasty in his judgment, Eivor. You are fit to stand with the best of us. Go to your brother. The words of one beloved will heal him faster than herbs. I will see to matters here. May the gods guide you, Uba, until we meet again. Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice, I hear. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch, Fulcate, do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars. I know who I am. I know my destiny. And you will not hinder me! Brother. Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out, but... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand. But all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look! This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend. Return to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name.
What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he's barely the man we were searching for. Quite so.